Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. Today, we're continuing my series on the Edge browser control. We're going to build a custom browser today, folks. Yes, we're going to build what looks like a regular web browser in an access form. We'll put our own little address bar across the top, a little go button. And this will be the foundation because in future videos, I'm going to show you how to like do stuff to manipulate those web pages. All right, we're going to get there. But for today, we're going to start by building the custom browser form. And of course, this is part three of the series, which means if you haven't watched parts one and two yet, go watch them now. You'll find links down below. You can click on to go watch those. And also, this is a developer level video. What does that mean? Well, that means we're going to be doing some VBA programming today, folks. So if you've never done any VBA programming, don't panic. Go watch this video first. It's about 20 minutes long. It teaches you everything you need to know to get started. VBA is not scary. And we're not going to be doing a ton of it. We're not going to be writing dozens and dozens of lines of code. Just a couple here and there. Just to make this web browser thing work. All right. These are free videos. They're on my website. They're on my YouTube channel. Go watch those and then come on back. Okay. Here I am in my Tech Help free template. This is a free database. You can grab a copy off my website if you want to. But for today's video, we're just going to play with the main menu here. So you can do this in any database you want. Let's go into design mode. Now I'm going to make this thing big like that because we're going to put a nice big browser in here. I'm going to keep some of this stuff. We're going to get rid of some of the other stuff. So get rid of that. We're going to get rid of these buttons. We're going to get rid of, well, I'll keep that feel. We'll keep one button around. This is going to be our URL bar where we type in the address we want to go to. So I'm going to put in here my URL as the label. And then this guy, we're going to call it my URL. I'm not using URL because the functions we're going to be dealing with have URL as a parameter, so I don't want anybody getting confused. So we're going to call this one my URL or call it URL text or whatever you want to call it. And this was formerly a date field, so we're going to get rid of that, that format and the control source. Okay, so just my URL, it's blank. Now, in the data portion of it for the default value, I'm going to put in here inside of quotes about colon blank. Just like that here. I'll zoom in so you can see it. It's about blank. In a web browser, by default, if you type in about blank, without the quotes, obviously, it'll put you on a blank page, All right? If I load up Bing and type in about blank like that, it goes to a blank page. And so we're just going to tell the browser you're starting off on a blank page. I don't really want to go anywhere when the, when the form loads, okay? All right, hit OK. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this up top like so, and we're going to stretch this out. Let me, uh, let me close that. Close that, and we're going to make this nice and big, like so. All right, let's make this thing big, out to about there. We'll leave room for a go button over there. That's going to be the hello world button. We're going to make this go. So when we click on this, it goes to that. You could put it as an after update event for that field if you want to, but I'm just going to stick with a go button for now. Put you up here. Okay, let's rename this. We'll call this the go, the go button, go BTN. Now, if you look, we got a bunch of code underneath this form we got to clear out. So I'm going to right click build event. Just clear out all the stuff we don't need from in here. All right. We don't need this customer open form stuff, blah, blah, blah. My form load event. I'm going to rem that out for now. That's just something that I have that just positions the access window where I record my videos. So you don't even need that. That's just mostly for me. Leave the status function or subroutine because we're going to use the status box a lot in future videos. So we're going to do that. And there's our code for our go button. We'll get to that in just a minute. We can get rid of hello world. So we're pretty much blank except for the status and the empty frame for the go button there. Okay. All right. Save it. We're going to slide the access learning zone logo to the bottom left corner. Don't you dare delete that. We're going to take the status box and we're going to slide it up here because normally with a web browser, you don't need to see this, but for the purposes of class, for teaching you stuff, I find it's helpful to be able to see what's going on. But we're going to put some stuff. We're going to status some of the events as they happen. Okay. Next up is the man of the hour, right? Form design. Grab the browser control. This guy right there. Drop it on the form. Cancel this thing. And then we're going to size it so it fits nicely right there. Beautiful. And yeah, you can make some minor adjustments. Move this over. Make this a little bit bigger. Whatever you want to do. Make it look party. Okay. I'm going to open up this guy's properties. I'm going to set the name of it to WB, just like I did in the last couple classes. 
If you want also here in the control source, you can also put about blank like that in the control source there. So the browser opens up on a blank page as well. Let's save it, close it, close it, open it back up again. Again, I got a button up here on my quick launch toolbar to open up main menu F. If not, you can just come down here. Now, one thing I don't like about this, and I mentioned this in the previous video, is the fact that it's transparent. So I'm gonna throw a white box behind it, just like I did before. In fact, we're gonna make it so this thing's a little bit smaller, and then you'll get the white box border around it. Do that, bring that in just a little bit all the way around it, like so. Go to form design, find that rectangle control right there. We're gonna put you all the way around this thing, like so. There we go. Format, shape fill is gonna be white, and if you wanna put a border around it, that's fine. Okay, and we're gonna also right click on it and go position, send to back so it's behind the browser. All right, save it, close it, open it, looks much better. If you don't want that border there, you can make them exactly the same size. I kinda like that little border. All right, next up, let's make that go button work. Okay, so when the user types something into here, they're gonna click the go button and it's gonna navigate to whatever page they put in there. Okay, so let's go back to our code. Here's our go button. Ready? All it is is wb.navigate my URL. That's it. That's all you need. It's gonna tell the web browser control to navigate to whatever is in that my URL field. All right, save it. Let's give it a try. Come back over here. Change this. Now you do need the HTTP or HTTPS in front of it. So HTTPS colon slash slash 599CD.com. Ready? Click. Boom. There you go. It's that easy. And now you can click in here and navigate around the site if you want to. Okay. That's the basics of it. It's that easy. Okay. Moving forward in the next couple of videos, we're gonna add some stuff. We're gonna add a back button, a forward button. We'll do some stuff to automatically put that HTTPS on the front if you want to. All right, then we're gonna get into actually looking at the events as they run. We'll get into pushing values to this. So if you wanna say, for example, push a value into the search box here, we can. We can read values off of this page, All right? You can scrape data off a page and put it in your database, all kinds of stuff you can do. We're gonna cover a lot of that in the next couple of lessons. If you like this kind of stuff, if you like my videos, check out my developer lessons. I teach you lots and lots about VBA. Got tons of videos and stuff for you to watch on my website. But that is gonna do it for your tech help video for today. That's part three of the Edge Browser Control Series. I'll see you tomorrow for part four. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member, and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming 
as long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn Access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, want to get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page, and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks, plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.